Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Friday, September 10th, 2021. 50 degrees at 7.31 a.m. and I am your host, Vak Kamal. I'm here with my brother, Prince and co-star Max. Brother, Prince and co-star Michael Samuel, I believe, is out there somewhere. Maybe he's getting a drink. He, here he comes. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Come on, honey. Princess Elsie's outside. I am a sinner. And for lack of anything else to start with today, uh, Liz Hurley's jubblies are 56 years, 92 days, and 51 minutes old as we speak. Friend is outside. He just came and ate some wet food. I took some food out to him around 4.30 in the morning when I woke up. I did not sleep well again. I did not have pleasant dreams. I had one where, I don't know, I was up in Sheboygan or something, something up there at this place. and It was just bizarre, all these people that I knew from years past and from when I worked in a rehab were in the place. After that, I was in another dream where my truck was on fire. I was out in the country somewhere driving home. And these people said, hey, hey, hey. And then finally when I got to where I was going and parked my vehicle near where I lived, they said, your truck's on fire. And it was just these little minor fires and splashed some water from a puddle on them and put them out. And then this guy was supposed to fix it for me, but he never did. And I was woke up several times by Max. He was really ball breaking this morning. He was doing everything he could, every little trick he pulls and knows to wake me up and get me out of bed, um, which he finally succeeded at. Like he was curled up alongside of me, and I was just falling back to sleep, hoping to get in about another hour in. Um, and I think maybe part of the reason Maxie was trying to wake me up was to let me know that Sammy was locked out here on the porch. I closed the sliding door at about 4.30 in the morning and I didn't know Sam was out here. So I gave him a break on that one. Hey, Mackie. Hey, Mackie. Ah, oh, Mikey won the coveted ball breaker of the day award yesterday. Two nights in a row he did not come in. I was hoping to get to bed early. And right around the time we were going to come in from the yard last night, Mikey showed up, and then within two minutes he was gone. And he did not come home for about an hour, and I was pissed. And that was after getting pretty pissed off about some other simple bullshit uh, I went for a bike ride last night to the uh, 7,999,999,999 of you who did not tune in yesterday. I I went for a bike ride. I said I was going to go for a bike ride, and I got out heading out Hamilton Road. Before I got there, I rode by Besser School, um, where all these parents were driving up oblivious to anyone and everything around me, to, around them to pick up their brats from school. And I won't make the mistake of pedaling by there again. But anyway, I got about, yeah, a mile and a half, two miles out the nature trail. And got a flat tire, which I carry a spare tube and a CO2 inflator, so I proceeded to go ahead and change the tube and inflate it and I wasn't watching and just doing it slowly like I normally do and I pumped it up with the inflator the, the tire was not seated on the rim and I had to deflate it and there wasn't enough CO2 left in the cartridge to reinflate the, the tube again so I proceeded to start walking home and thankfully was rescued by my cousin Shannon. I texted her and she came and got me. Um, and when I got home, I was going to pump the tire back up with my regular pump, but couldn't find the adapter. 
got myself all flustered looking for that. Probably spent a half hour or more looking for that adapter. It's usually sitting right next to the pump because the, the bike, the Kona, has the, the tires and the tubes have Presta valves on them. So today's project is to try and uh, see if I can find a low pressure or a high pressure small pump to carry on rides as well as some CO2 inflators. But yeah, it doesn't take much to set me off, man. And once it starts happening, it's it's a landslide. Nothing to be proud of, but hey. hey look at that, Mackie. Look at that, Sammy. We gotta give him this pill. Oh, yeah. We're gonna take a break right now. We're enjoying a cup of coffee in the company of these loves. Hey, we try to correct all errors of fact on the Mike show, and yesterday I believe I said there were 7,999,900. It's tough repeating that. 7,999,999,999 who did not tune in, and it was actually 7,999,999,999. Nine hundred ninety-eight did not tune in two days ago. That would have been on the eighth of September. So had to correct that. You're still there. Go away. Go away. Um, I hate people, and it's not so much I hate individual people, but I hate humanity at a collectively. You know said it before and I'll say it again we are the virus on this planet and there's just too damn many of us I think there's probably uh, about 7 billion too many people on this planet even in this small town I live in up here it's just getting to be too crowded and what is the point and purpose man I mean we're like ants or something only they know what the hell they're doing <laughs> Oh boy, no, there are. That's that's what the real issue is, I think, with all the issues and conflicts and things between people and groups and countries and all that. And it's just a big fight for resources and space and there's only so much and all these viruses have been trying to keep our population control in check and uh, they're not doing a very good job because of medical advances. And we haven't had a good war that's killed off a bunch of us, but the the bubonic plague did, made headway. Um, Spanish flu did all right, and that came after a big war where millions died. Uh, and I'm not saying this to be grim or whatever, you know, and just that I loathe people that much, but there are. There are just too damn many of us on this planet. And all the consumption, all the plastic. I look around this room I'm sitting in and just see all the things. And all the things that are made now that are not reusable. You know, the one-use products and cans and bottles. and Well, bottles, glass bottles are reusable. Wooden crates, whatever. But we got away from that a long time ago. The plastic bags, styrofoam containers, all that shit. You know, we're just consuming. Think of how many little coffee creamers, little individual coffee creamers are used in a day. Gallons of milk, you know, cans of paint and things like that. And spray, any spray cans, cleaning products and all that. And it's just astronomical, you know, and all that ends up, we, we've turned the earth into a big garbage dump. And I'm not some fucking tree hugger or anything like that. That's not the point of it. Um, the earth's going to survive us. We're going to make ourselves extinct. The earth and the creatures on it are going to do fine once we make ourselves extinct. And, you know, I just believe that. So anyway, we're going to pause again. Well, it's just me and Sam here now. He's burning up a storm. Look at that sweet soul. Mackie went over to one of his favorite spots corner there can we get him in i can't reach that far mikey's in the living room and the princess is outside so we might do an update later on we might not um it's your loss for watching this at all 
And all we can say at this point is piss off and have a happy Friday.